Okay, so I have a couple of electronic expansion valves here and they're going to go in the bin right now. But before I do, I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you basically how to test them out on the field. So totally get it that a lot of people probably already know how to do this, but there's probably people that don't know and this video may be helpful to them. So there was a time that I didn't know how to do this and I'm constantly checking these all the time. So for those who don't know, that's what an electronic expansion valve looks like. Very common in air conditioners today in all the brands. So this method applies to all the different brands. Um, so that's the valve, that's the coil. This is a coil of a smaller unit. So as you can see, they come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, so basically on all the Dakin ones and pretty much all the brands out there, they have five cables coming off them. So when I say I'm always testing these, very rarely do I come across these that are faulty. I mean, it absolutely happens, but it's, it's rare in my experience. Um, however, whenever I come across a board that um, is faulty, which is very common. Um, before I go and replace it, I test the different components. So I test the fan motor to make sure that's fine. I test the compressor. Um, I test these. I don't feel comfortable leaving the job without testing it because I don't want to come back with a new board and then put it in and then it fails straight away because something else is faulty. And trust me, it happens. So. Rule of thumb, if you've diagnosed a faulty board, definitely check these, um, the outdoor fan motor and the compressor, definitely. So anyway, I'll show you how to test them. It's very easy. Once again, I'm not an expert, absolutely not, but I'm hoping this video will help some people. So let's get into it. Okay, so I guess we'll do this one first. Obviously just need to test the cables and we're going to check the resistance. So we're obviously checking the coil, the electric part of it, electronic part of it, I should say. So like I said, all the different ones have um, five cables. There are different types, but they're very rare. Most of the ones you see on any air conditioning brand are going to be five cables. Pretty sure on Dakin's the red is the common. Probably should have checked that before this video, but. All right, so, um, we'll check for resistance. So the red is usually the common on the Dakin ones. Now on other brands, the colors change, but you can easily work it out. So the red is common. So between the common and all the other ones, so that's 45, 46, 46, 46. So they're all 46 and one of them is 45. Now, normally they're all the same, but if one's like 
like a tiny bit different, that's totally fine as long as it's not heaps far out. So 46, 46, 46, and 45. So let's just say between common and the rest of them, we're just going to say 46. Just for example, obviously one of them was 45, but it's basically 46. And then we're just going to check. Now, between the ones and not including the common, and it should be double that. Roughly. 91. 91. 91. You can do them all differently, like check as many as you want, but just don't include the common. So between the rest of them, like I said, you can go in whichever test in between whatever cable you want, just don't include the common. It's about 91. 91 divided by 2 is. 45.5 so that this is totally fine hope that makes sense so basically like all you do on the field or obviously being a plug on the field but it's still fine between common between common and any other cable it'll be a figure and then when you test between other cables but don't include the common it'll just be double that like in this example so in any other thing it was 46 in, in fact one of them was actually 45 which is closer to that and then yeah hope that makes sense so let's test this other one so that one checks out totally fine works perfect just to clarify between the common red and any of those cables it'll be a figure and then if you go in between any of these and don't use the common it'll be double that so that's sweet now we got this one so that's why it's easy to find out which one's the common out on the field with different brands because the different brands definitely have different um, colors but it's the same principle still five cables and one of them's a common generally speaking like there will be obviously somewhere out there a unit that's got an electronic expansion valve with more than five cables but trust me most commonly you're going to see five. Okay, let's do this one. Ninety-two. Forty-six. Ninety one point eight. Ninety one point eight. Ninety one point eight. So this one. Sorry, I just had to think. Then <laughs> I think the so. This on this one, the grey is the common. Okay. 46. 46. 46. 46. So between grey and all of them are 46. Now, we should double that, not using grey.
Yep, 91. 92, 91, 92. Yeah, perfect. That's actually good that that was different. This one's totally fine as well. And my theory of the commons being red is officially wrong. <laughs> that's just normally what I see. So that one was grey, but that's a good example. Because to be honest, actually this might not even have come out of a Dakin, to be honest. So that actually worked out perfect. Um, Dakin, most of the time the common is red, but like I said, on other brands can be different. And I just showed you then how to work that out. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm not the best teacher, but yeah. Any questions, just ask. But it's always about that. One last thing I'll say is said it before out on the field these aren't going to be out like that they're going to be in a plug like like a plug like that this is obviously not electronic expansion valve but you get what I mean so basically I always say if you get a multimeter try to get one with sharp prongs because it's easier to get in there and test now this is a bad example because they're massive but on small little expansion valves they're really really small and you need sharp prongs anyway hope that helps somebody and happy hvacking